understanding this structure. We've got the three triangles. Now this is the video triangle, the audio triangle, and the continuity triangle, the flow of things. So here, this triangle is involved with interpreting the video signal, the image. This function here, it says on steps 11 and 12, is about defining areas. So you get an image, and there are certain areas that are closed and certain areas that are open. So you can define closed areas, and then here you have a system like on um, air traffic control showing the you know the area and its velocity and there you have the surface the actual area so here we have the differential showing the acceleration of the relative acceleration to the driver of this up moving uh, area and there we have a recognition of that particular area so here we might be looking for an, a particular object, have an image of that object here from the past, and then that is then looking for this particular area, this particular colour. So we're looking for an object, we might see a flat area of certain pattern, so we know we found the object. Or vice versa, we could be moving around in the environment, and get a pressure map of the environment, a pressure map of all the objects in the environment and their position and this is called the flow of things so in this flow of things you can identify different separate shapes and their position now in the center the relativity triangle we've got the space time which is the audio and the soundtrack obviously it's the waveform light so it's all the colors as well but it's basically the audio track so on this track we have the audio track and we have the definition of that into separate sounds, separate sources of sound. Same as this good separate objects, this the separate areas, this that isolate different sounds in a position in space. There we have the intensity of that sound and there we have it, it, its resonance, its harmony with the other sounds around. See, right, so it's and there we have the continuity of the object, its movement, and whether it fits in to the place. There we have you know all the objects in the uh, memory. So, this works if you remember, it works two ways. Uh, we're getting a map up here of the environment, and we're also moving objects around here in the environment. We'll find out what an object is, where it is, and then we learn like how to move things around. So we can go and find an object and move it around. See, so there's the video signal, isolate the areas, the acceler differential, the integral. There's the sounds. There we have the intensity, the the temperature. We have the resonance and dissonance. If I'm zooming in and out for uh, voice recognition. Yeah, we're, last we have the, the, the base triangle of the flow of things, which is the hand, the object, and the position, the movement. So we've got the video, the audio, and the continuity signals, and the ability to either record them or to if I transmit them, create them, if I imagine them or move objects around and perform the task.